वेलकम टू माई क्लास स्टूडेंट इट्स क्लास एट इंग्लिश ग्रामा वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर फोर दैट इज नाउंस एंड प्रोनाउंस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू टाइप्स ऑफ नाउंस एंड प्रोनाउंस एंड दिस इज सेशन वन टाइप्स ऑफ नाउंस देर आर सेवल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नाउंस दिस इंक्लूड कॉमन नाउंस अंडर द कॉमन नाउंस वी हैव एबस्ट्रेक्ट नाउंस कलेक्टिव नाउंस कंपाउंड नाउंस concrete nouns non countable nouns gender specific nouns verbal nouns and then proper nouns right now we will talk about common noun what is common noun as you have seen there are different types of noun that comes under common noun what is a common noun a common noun is the word used for a class of a person place or thing example car boy then city like this anything that comes that comes under common noun right common nouns are capitalized only when they start a sentence when there is a common noun you will write the first letter of the common noun with capital when when only the sentence is starting for example boys are boys are playing now boys are playing here b is capital because the sentence is starting with boys that is b otherwise you are not allowed to write common nouns with the capital right now abstract noun things you cannot see or touch as you know under the common noun you see abstract noun also what is the abstract noun things that you cannot see or touch you can only feel for example bravery joy all the feelings all the emotions that you can only feel you cannot touch right that are all abstract noun childhood youth these are the thing adulthood these are the things that we can only feel we cannot touch or we cannot see next collective nouns words to describe groups for example team choir team of players choir of musician so there these are collective nouns compound nouns nouns made up of more than one word for example court martial pick pocket water bottle these are all compound nouns then concrete nouns things we can see or touch for example tree cloud then building whatever soil that we can touch and see that comes under concrete nouns concrete nouns is an opposite of abstract nouns then non countable nouns what are the non countable nouns these are called mass nouns things you cannot count For food music these are all things you cannot count stars like that now gender specific nouns words which are definitely male or female for example vixen actress actor boy girl these are gender specific nouns which are definitely male or female then verbal nouns nouns derived from verbs for example a building an attack see when there is when there is an article article always comes before noun always remember when whenever there is an article you are seeing an article that means that particular word um, after article is a or n is noun right then gerunds nouns that represent actions for example running fast guessing a number so these are all gerunds nouns that represent action so under the common noun you have seen so many different types of nouns now next comes proper noun 
Now, gerunds. One more example. Nouns that represent actions, as you see, running, fast, guessing a number. For you can write swimming is a good exercise. Okay, running fast is his hobby. Then guessing a number is his talent. He can guess a particular number. So these are the things that verb with ing we are using as a noun, and that is gerunds. Now proper nouns. A proper noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. That is its own name. A proper noun always starts with a capital letter. For example, Michael, Africa, Mumbai. Mumbai. So in this way, you are seeing proper noun. Always you will have to start with capital letter of the proper noun. And in common noun, if the sentence starts with that common noun only, then the first letter will be capital. So you have seen so many types of nouns. Common noun under which you have seen abstract noun, concrete noun, collective noun, verbal noun. Then gerunds you have seen so and there is a proper noun proper noun name of a specific person place or thing second is collective noun a collective noun is the word used for a group of people or things for example coative and compound nouns are nouns made up of two or more words just as wheelchair here we can another word wheel chair then blackboard right staff room these are all compound nouns wheel chair staff room these are all compound nouns Some compound nouns are hyphenated, some are not, and some combine the words to form a single word. Hyphenated, you will have to put a hyphen in between two words. So some are like that, but some are as a single word. We write that. For example, here you are seeing mother-in-law. See, there is a hyphen, mother hyphen in hyphen and law. But board of members, it's a, together you have written board of members. Pronoun. A pronoun is a word used to replace a noun. In the name of noun, in place of noun, the word we use is called pronoun. A pronoun can act as a subject, direct object, indirect object, object of the preposition and more. What are the pronouns? As you know, he, she, they, it, we, who. All these are pronouns and there are different types of pronouns also. So, we can use pronoun as a subject, as a direct object, as an indirect object, as an object of the preposition and more. <coughs> now, what are the types of pronoun? Indefinite pronouns. Those referring to one or more unspecified objects, beings or places. That is indefinite pronouns. Now, one or more unspecified objects, beings or places. That comes under indefinite pronoun. Personal pronouns. Those associated with a certain person, thing or group. All except you have distinct form that indicates singular or plural number. See here, certain a person, thing or group and then that indicates singular or plural number. Right? These are called personal pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Those preceded by the adverb, adjective, pronoun or noun. To which they refer an ending in self or self. They say myself, ourselves, so these are the things. 
Reflexive pronouns those preceded by the adverb, adjective, pronoun or noun to which they refer and ending in self or selves. Then demonstrative pronouns those used to point to something specific within a sentence. Possessive pronouns those designating possession or ownership. Right? Ownership is there or possession. Relative pronouns, those which refer to nouns mentioned previously acting to introduce an adjective that is relative clause. So, relative pronouns, those which refer to nouns mentioned earlier. I have bought a book. That book is in my auntie's house. That book, relative pronoun. Now mentioned previously acting to introduce an adjective clause. Now interrogative pronoun those which introduce a question. These are inter interrogative pronouns. Then reciprocal pronouns those expressing mutual actions or relationship. One another, each other. These are called reciprocal pronouns. These are expressing mutual actions or relationship. Then intensive pronouns, those ending in self or self and that serve to emphasize their antecedents. For example, I myself have completed my work. Nobody has helped me, I myself have done it. So emphasizing, so that is all intensive pronouns. All is an indefinite pronoun in sentence, all the players must pass their classes. See, so all comes in definite pronoun. Male, female, whatsoever. It's all. All the players. Good, better, whosoever. All the players must pass their classes. Now, personal pronouns can function as a sentence subject such as he in the sentence. He ate the leftover apple sauce. Now, he as a subject in a personal pronoun I have told they can function as a subject. So, he as a subject here we have used. They also can function as an object such as you in the sentence. Angela, Angela will lend that book to you. Now, you is an object. Here, he is a subject and you is an object. So, we are seeing, we are seeing you as an object, pronoun you as an object and pronoun he as a subject. Now, next, ourselves in the sentence. We can cook dinner ourselves. Is a reflexive pronoun. See, I have given you the example of ourselves, ourselves. So, is himself in the sentence. Joy can drive himself. So, these are all reflexive pronoun. Now, you in the sentence, your jacket is on the floor is a possessive pronoun. So, your jacket, mine dress, her book. So, like this, these are all possessive pronoun. Who is a relative pronoun? The employee who set off the fire alarm was punished. So, who here as a relative pronoun? Who and what are interrogative pronouns in the sentence? Who gave you the present and what made that sound? So, here you are getting examples of interrogative pronouns also. Who and what? Because they are asking questions. Who gave you the present and what made that sound? Reciprocal pronouns help prevent repetition within sentence. Maria and Juan gave each other. See, by writing each other, we did not have to write again Maria and Juan. See, it has helped us to avoid repetition. So, Maria and Juan gave each other gold rings on their wedding day. The students congratulated one another. After giving practice, speeches. So, in this way you are seeing how pronouns are very helpful and you should have sound knowledge of pronouns. 
Intensive pronouns are sometimes called emphatic pronouns. Now, many intensive pronouns are himself, herself, yourself, themselves and ourselves. So, what have we learned? We have learned types of nouns and we have learned many types of pronouns. So, whenever you go through the any sentence, please try to find out which type of pronoun is that. Because pronouns always come in place of noun. And noun types also I have shown you. To so go through the slide, revise it again and again. Have a good knowledge of nouns and pronouns and its types. Because it will be very helpful for you to identify parts of speech. In the next class, I shall teach you something more interesting. Till then, have a good revision. Goodbye. Thank you.